Alright student, today I will continue the 5.2, that's a refraction of the light. This one is about the another formula to find the refractive index. Okay, let's see what is that. Okay, from this one 5.2 video clip, okay, I will explain about the, with the help of the ray diagram, how an object appear nearer to the surface of the water. Okay, number two, we need to label the real depth the position of the image and apparent depth. Okay, third one, we need to state the refractive index, that's a N, by using the real depth and also apparent depth. Okay, after that, we need to explain why a man they're trying to shoot a fish, but there's a fail to hit the fish. Now you need to draw the ray diagram. Okay, what is the method if the man they want to fire the fish in the lab? Okay, now we're going to see the following. Okay, this one is an example for the diagram to show the real depth and also apparent depth. Okay, now this one is a real pencil. Okay, they put inside the water. Okay, now we need to know how the ray diagram to travel. Okay, they must start from the actual position. That's a from the end of the pencil. So the light ray will up. Okay, until the surface of the water. Okay, because of different density. So you find it the direction of the ray they will bend away from the normal because this one is a less than now the water is a denser so when they bend away from the normal that means they go to the observer eyes then the observer eyes they will go through the water then they hit together two lines they will cross and also overlap together so that point will stand for image point so that means now the observer to see the pencil actually there's a image. So from here we call it this one as a apparent depth. Okay, this one the depth of the water means the end the pencil they put in put until the end of the water. This one we call as a real depth. Okay, so normally you want to touch the pencil, you need to go through more deep a little bit because you touch the one just an image. So this one is a one of the diagram. You can see the pencil like a little bit bending. Okay, the pencil like broken. So this one is a one another diagram. Put the pencil inside the water. Then you can see through the glass. They're just like broken pencil. Okay, now we're going to see. This one diagram is uh, about the fish. So from here, you also start from the object first. Okay, the object, the light go up until the surface of the A. Okay, now we draw the normal line. After you draw the normal line, you find the light ray, they will bend away from the normal. Okay, both light also bend away from the normal. After that, these two lines, they will cross and join together until they touch the point. So this point is normally, this exactly above the object. So this one, we call it as a image of the fish. So from here, what the observer can see, they see image only. They cannot see the real one. So from here, we need to find out what is a capital H, what is a small h. Capital H, we call it as a real depth. Then the small h is a apparent depth. Sometimes we're using capital D. Sometimes we're using capital H. So depend the question. Okay, now we need to see how to draw. Okay, because sometimes the question, they call you to draw. Draw the image. So from here, I demo how to draw first. Okay, this one is a water. Okay, above should be the A. Okay, now I show my object first. This one is my object. So from the object, you need to find one of the point. Okay, either one of the point, you need to observe. So now the light ray must travel from the point of the object, go up to the A. Okay, now we start the line. Okay, so the two line is up until they touch the surface of the water okay now you need to do is draw the normal line both normal line you need to draw okay after that you need to bend away from the normal you must show the line away from the normal okay now i showed it okay now these two red color line they bend away from the normal if i never bend they should be up a little bit okay now, these two red lines, you need to make it longer in the water until they both overlap. Okay? Now, we continue to draw until they overlap. 
Okay, so this point, they overlap each other. So that means this one is your location of your image. Okay, now you can draw the image exactly which point you start. This one is another point for the image. So I draw the image here. So this one is an image. Okay, so if you draw the observer eye, that means you can observe this one image only. You cannot see the real, uh, real object. That's a more deeper than the image. Okay, let's see the explanation. Okay, we need to start from the ray first. Huh? Ray of the light coming from the rear fish. That's a O. Okay, to travel from the water, that's a more denser to the A. That's a less than. So now the ray are refracted away from the normal. Okay, when they're touching the surface, that means they're refracted away from the normal as they leave the water. So when the light re reach just the eyes of the person, that means until the light they reach the person eyes, it appear to come from a virtual fish. So that means your image should be the virtual. Okay, each uh and also there's a label as an eye because there's an image which is above the real fish. So that means now your virtual fish that's exactly above the actual fish. So you must mention where they travel. Number two, you must say refracted away from the normal. Then you say now the uh, virtual image for the fish where they appear. They should appear above the actual object. Okay, now this one is another diagram. They show above the observer want to see the depth of the water. Okay, let's see here. This one you can see about the depth. This one is a real depth. So now the light ray is travel from the bottom. They go up until they go to the surface of the water. So until the surface of the water means there's a two medium different density. So from here they will start to refract it. Okay, now we need to show the ray how they go to refract it. Because this one is a travel from the denser to the less than. So they will bend away from the normal. So we're going to draw first. Okay, we draw the normal line. Okay, this one is a normal line. So you can see it, the diagram of the arrow, they will bend a little bit away from the normal. So now we go to continue the, the red diagram. Okay, you can find it. That will make it longer until they go down. Okay, so from here, you can find it. This one, we call it as a apparent depth. This one is a real depth. But normally, we go to draw by the uh, two arrow. If two arrow, that means they can overlap. If one line, you find it, they also cannot touch at the same point here. They just go through another side. So that means this one, there's a, a little bit upper. If you don't know where you need to stop, you see this one is an original. You just draw a little bit upper than the original. So that one is your image. Okay, after that, you can label. This one we call observer date. So you can say this one is apparent. This one is a real date. Okay. So we go to the next one. Okay, next one you need to do is a calculation. Okay, we see this one how to do the calculation. Now the depth of the water is 0 0.4. Okay, that means real depth. Okay, calculate the distance of the image from the surface of the water. So image to water. So that means they want to find a parent depth. So we need to show the calculation. Okay, the question already provided refractive index. So we're still using the formula. N equal real depth over a parent depth. So now the question already provided real depth. So, so now we're using the formula D. There's a capital D over the N. Okay. So from here we can get capital D is a 0 0.4 meter over 1.33. So we can find the small N actually is what's the answer. So we do the calculation. Zero point three. So from here, I get the answer is a zero point three zero. Then we just follow that's a meter. So this one is your apparent depth. So we check is it correct or not? Okay, apparent depth is shorter 
than the real depth. So 0 0.3 is less than 0 0.4. So that means my answer should be logic. Lah. So this one is the answer. Okay, then we go to the next one. Okay, next one should be the experiment. This one experiment, they want to investigate the relationship between the real depth and also a parent depth. So from this one hypothesis is a parent depth that will increase as the real depth increase. So you just think, when the water depth increasing, how about the apparent depth? The apparent depth also keep to increasing. So from here, we need to investigate the relationship between apparent and also the real depth. So from here, what we can control? We can control is a real depth only. You just keep to add the water. So from here, real depth is a MV, RV is a apparent, then C, constant variable is a refractive index, there's a water. Okay, so from here, what apparatus we need to use? We're using the pin, ruler, water, retort stand. Okay, one I highlight already, there's a tall beaker. Okay, we just got this experiment, we're using tall beaker. So because the paper tree, they will give you some apparatus. When I just mentioned tall beaker, so you must uh, very detail to tell you this one is an experiment. So the other, you also need to make sure is it correct or not. Lah. Okay, so this one is a one of the hints to help you. This one is what experiment. Okay, now we're going to see the diagram. So this one we call tall beaker because you want to add the water. Normally, they're using more of the water to measure the depth. So they might using the beaker is a taller one. Okay, so from here, the diagram you need to draw. Okay, we're using two of the pin. Okay, one of the pin you join together because this one you need to measure. When the water you add it, the image that will move up and move down, then you're using this one pin to point the image. So another pin is an object. There's an actual object that will always stay at the bottom. So from here later, you just go to adjust the uh, pin eye only. Okay, where you stop, when you stop it, then you go to measure the H. Small H is a apparent that. So this one capital H, you control by yourself. So from here, let's see the procedure. Now a pin that placed at the base of the beaker. There's a O. Okay, now another pin that clamped horizontally onto the retort stand. There is an image position indica indicator. There's an I. Now the beaker is filled with the water. So first step, you need to say you put in how many water. That one is represented that. So from here, they say by using your ruler, the real depth of the pin is measured. That's a 10 cm. So when you just say 10 cm, the water you put inside, then make it the real depth become 10 cm, then you get one marks for the manipulated marks. Okay, now we go number 5. Now your pin O is seen vertically above the surface of the water. You must say you see it vertically above. Okay, this one, that, this one sentence can help you to get the responding marks. Okay, then we continue. Okay, number six. The position of the pin eye is adjusted. So number six is very important. You must say you adjusted the pin eye. So adjusted until where? Until the parallax error between the pin O and also the eye is non-existent. So you adjust until you cannot see the another image. They just exactly PI and also pin O, uh, pin eye and also pin O exactly there's a one line. Then you stop. So that one we call non parax error. Okay, after that, by using meter root again, you go to measure the position of the pin I. Okay, that one as a apparent that that's a small h. Okay, so until seven, that means five, six, and also seven. That's a help you to get the responding marks. Okay, the last one, number eight. The experiment is repeated five times. Actually, it's a four time is a minimum. You want five, six, seven, eight is up to you. But one of the problem number eight, you cannot get the responding mark. The reason is you never mentioned the depth is how many. Okay, you must say okay, repeated four time. Then you say how many cm for the real depth. Just now it's a ten. Then you continue twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. Okay, better you mention. Okay, if you never mention, but in the table you can write it. Okay, that one also can be how you get the marks. Okay, let's see the table. Okay, example here. You never mentioned just now repeated how many? You just say repeated five times or four times. Okay, but the table you got mentioned. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Okay, you 
you can get the repeated marks because the table can help you. So I advise you both, you also write it. So I just get you, you forget already. So the for the small H, just a apparent that we just empty because we never do the experiment. So after that, we go to analyzing the data. Okay, analyzing the data, there's a small H against a capital H. You can write, plot the graph H against a small, uh, capital H. Like this sentence also can. If you do one, you can draw the axis. Capital H is a manipulable variable. Small h is a responding. Then until here, then finish. So this one is your paper 3 report. Okay, we see some example question here. Okay, this one is, uh, they show the diagram. There's a, they want to find the refractive index of the glass. Lah. So this one is a one of the glass. Okay, now the light ray, they, they want to travel from the bottom and up. This one is a light ray travel from the bottom. Then go up until your eye, then you see the image. So this one we call real depth. This one we call apparent depth. So now they want to find the refractive index. So we just apply the formula for the refractive index. N equal real depth is a 12. Okay, 12 over 8. Then you get the marks for your refractive index. Okay, remember one thing. Refractive index is no unit. So you just empty it. So I find it as a 1.5. Okay. Then we go to question number two. Okay, they say why the man, the legs that stand inside the water appear to be shorter. So you find it, the leg, the, the leg becomes shorter in the water. So when you go to touch, you cannot touch. The one is an image. So we must talking about how the ray travel. Okay, we can see the answer. The light is travel from the feet in the water. Okay, water is a dancer. After that, they do the A. Okay, from the water go to the A. A is the last step. So from here, we find it the light ray that you refracted away from the normal light. So from here, the man, they find it. The leg, there's a appear shorter because there's an image. Okay, actually, there's a more deeper. The one is an object. Okay, then we go to question number three. Okay, now a man, they want to try to shoot the fish. Okay, as by seen, uh, seen by him in the water. His shooting does not hit the fish. Okay, now why is shooting fail to hit the fish? So the explanation almost the same. Lah, because the light is travel from the dancer to the last stand. After that, refracted away from the normal. So you find it, your image is less that. Uh, less tip compared to the actual object. Okay, so that means you should think that one support is a image. Okay, so it hit the image of the fish, uh, which is no sorry, not it la, is he. Okay, he, because this one is a man, so he hits the image of the fish, which is above the real fish. Okay. So that's why they cannot hit the fish up because hit only the man just hit that one is an image, not the actual one. Okay, then we go to what is the method if the man they want to hit the fish in the light. Okay, what's the method they need to hit? So that means what you can do, you can hit deeper. Lo. Okay, because you find it the object is an actual downwards. So you need to hit deeper. Okay, or you can say you hit perpendicular straight. Okay, when you stop to see it exactly, no anchor, then you can see the actual object. Okay, so the answer is, you hit below, lower a little bit, or you go to hit perpendicular to the fish. So that means you can catch it uh, exactly. Okay, if you got anchor, that means you find it there's a go deeper. So you know, hit lower a little bit. If you perpendicular, that means exactly the direction is there. Okay, the object exactly, there's an ob uh, actual object. You cannot see the image already because you are exactly perpendicular, same like the normal line. Okay, so we go through the last one. There's an application of the refraction of the light. Okay, we can using the refraction of the light for the first one. There's uh, your eyeglasses. Normally, you wear one. Okay, we're using the lens. That one, the lens is a refraction. Okay, number two using the magnifying glass. This one also using the lens. Okay, then we got binocular, camera, telescope, and also microscope. 
this all we using the phenomena is a refraction of the light means the light can go through okay go through the medium that one we call refraction of the light so when it just go through that means the velocity sure will changes so our lesson just until this one we got a real depth and also apparent depth after that introduced for the application so this one we finish the topic for refraction okay so the coming should be the total internal refraction okay thank you for watching Thank you.